Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. It is June 13th. It's Thursday morning. Just did a final delivery on a load I brought down from Chicago. Um, I'm in Johnson City, Tennessee. This is the Chicago load I talked about in my previous videos. I thought I was going to miss out on it. Uh, they tried to give it to someone else because they didn't. They weren't sure if I was going to be able to get to it. That guy actually had already booked another load and was trying to get a reset in, so he didn't want to mess with it. So they called and got it pushed out till Monday. I got the rejected watermelon load off Sunday. So it all timed out really well for me. If you didn't watch the videos about the uh, watermelons, you should go back and check those out. It was a uh, little uh, experience for you there to uh, learn about. If you haven't watched those just go check them out and while you're at it you should also share like and subscribe uh, this video leave comments I do appreciate all that so yeah I thought I was gonna miss out on it uh, they couldn't well, I mean I don't know if they really tried to get anybody else to do it they just called and asked the customer can we load this Monday because these this load had a, a restart built into it anyway they wanted it picked up Saturday afternoon because the shipper closed Saturday afternoon and uh, the first stop was only down in Louisville uh, on Monday afternoon. So they said, well, hey, can we load that Monday morning and we can still stay on schedule with the deliveries? And so the shipper, they agreed to it. I picked it up Monday morning in Chicago. I ran down to Louisville delivery Monday afternoon. And uh, that kicked off. A, uh, I actually stayed at that customer from, you know, from the time I got there, like noon. I stayed there through the afternoon because I needed to get a, uh, a ten-hour break in because I had four deliveries uh, between Monday night and Tuesday morning. It was uh, four refrigerated warehouses in one 14-hour shift. It was interesting to say the least. Uh, four deliveries, about 300 miles of driving in there. So it, uh, I ran out of hours on the 14 hour clock. Um, I actually used personal conveyance to drive over to a truck stop after I got empty at that one because I ran out of hours at that shipper and they did not want me to stay there. So, um, you know, I took personal conveyance and drove over. It was like two and a half miles. It really annoyed me that, uh, you know, I, I tr really try to stay off personal conveyance because it's interpreted differently by a lot of different people, and I, I don't want to, uh, you know, run wrong, run along the wrong person, or come along the wrong person that doesn't understand or agree with how I see it. So, anyway, that was the whole deal. Uh, then had a long break. Got up this morning, did the did the final and sixth delivery. It was one pickup, six deliveries. Uh, two in the Louisville area, one in Lexington area, then dropped down to Knoxville, did a couple, and then over to Johnson City here and knocked out the last one. Overall, pretty good load. It was, um, you know, like I said, I picked it up Monday morning, so it's basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I wouldn't really count Thursday in it. Um, you know, I had a, I had a 6 a.m. delivery this morning, and I wasn't that far away from it, so... Um, I don't know, maybe used an hour, hour and a half of today on it. So, I I, I would say it was a three-day run, because that's realistically what it was. Um, I did the deadhead for it uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, so, I don't know. I would count it as a three-day run. But anyway, on with the numbers of, uh, of the load. Worked out to be a pretty good load. It was... Total miles, 1,071 total miles, uh, 240 deadhead, 831 loaded, and um, the deadhead would have been about 120-ish. It would have been about half that deadhead if the watermelon load hadn't been rejected and I hadn't had to take it back down, but I'm not complaining because all that worked out. Uh, basically, I made an extra 1,200 in revenue for the week. Um, to run those uh, watermelons like 260 miles down the road on Sunday, which you know would have been a day I would have been setting anyway. I didn't need a reset, um, so it all worked out pretty good. Other than it added to my deadhead miles, but you know, not not the worst thing in the world. 
So it paid $3,200 to the carrier, which is $299 a mile, all miles. Uh, and I want to be clear on that because some people, you know, they comment, you know, if you'd have done this, you'd have been at this mile. But, you know, that's not factoring in that there would have been more deadhead if I would have, you know, went, you know, to certain areas. Not that they were saying I was wrong. It's just I want everybody to understand that's whenever I talk miles, I'm talking all miles. Um, so yeah, two ninety nine a mile to the carrier. It left me twenty five sixty to the truck, which is two thirty nine a mile, all miles. Not a bad run um, overall. So truck fuel, I spent five hundred and forty four dollars. I probably got more truck fuel than I used because um, this load. Well, number one, I, I got a great deal on the fuel, um, so I just went ahead and filled up versus, you know, buying lesser amount. Sometimes, sometimes I don't always fill up to kind of, you know, strategize my fuel purchases uh, over the whole trip, but this time it, it was it was well cheaper, uh, well enough, uh, you know, good enough deal, I guess I should say. So, 544 truck fuel. 60 in reefer fuel this load was uh it, it had a temperature range of 33 to 39 degrees so wasn't that hard on the reefer to keep that up it was actually pretty cool you know i got down in the 50s a couple nights uh where i was staying so not a lot of reefer fuel used on that for a three-day run you know 60 bucks i paid eight dollars in tolls i didn't put any delf in um probably need some delf at this point didn't pay anything for parking six hundred and twelve dollars in variable cost so uh money left over after variable cost it was 1948 1948 dollars uh not bad for a three-day run uh i'll take those especially considering you know it's it wasn't a heavy load even to begin with and it started out full load was thirty one thousand. Uh, the first stop in Louisville took off eleven thousand, so that had me down to twenty. The second stop was also a big stop. They took off like another six, I think. So you know, I was down to like fourteen, fifteen thousand pounds before I really started doing all the uh, you know running through the mountains and everything. So really didn't feel any effects of weight on the fuel. Um, so yeah, I think my 30 day average right now on fuel is sitting at about 7.2. Uh, and my, my 90 day average is, I want to say my 90 day average is somewhere around, uh, like just a hair above seven. I do believe I should have wrote that down before I started the video, but I believe that's where I'm at right now. Um. Uh, best I remember the 90 day is down a little bit you know some of that's still running on winter fuel you know if you go back 90 days some of that's still running winter fuel some of that is because you know coming out of the winter I was pulling heavier loads trying to keep the revenue up so it did bring my fuel mileage down a little bit but I've been able to catch you know catch a few lighter loads along the way here in the last uh maybe month month and a half so it's kind of started to go back up a little bit um i don't know i got a service done on the truck about a month ago that always helps it go back up a little bit so um yeah hopefully hopefully that starts to creep back up like it's uh you know i try to get it my goal is eight you know that's i feel like i feel like you know eight miles a gallon is kind of where i need to be to be uh, as profitable, you know, I think, I think eight, I've kept this truck at eight for a while before, so I feel like eight is kind of its, its peak, that's really the, you know, like, that's optimal to me, and uh, I think, I think that's kind of where I need to be to compete with the, uh, you know, what the mega carrier trucks are doing, because um, I always try to, you know, use them as my benchmark when it comes to fuel, because, uh, you know, that's, that's my competition. That's who I gotta, you know, that's who else, that's, you know, who, who I'm competing against for the majority of the freight out here, the freight I want to pull at least, you know, the, uh, 
the good paying light loads um seems like the mega carriers have a grip on a lot of that freight so that's my competition that's who i have to compete with so that's what i'm trying to do but overall yeah i mean i can live with seven seven's not breaking the bank especially i've noticed the past week or two fuel prices seem like they're coming back down a little bit so uh that always helps you know on the on the bottom line but yeah guys i'm gonna hop off here uh thanks for tuning in uh if you got any questions about the load or uh anything else about it uh that was 385 uh loaded uh 385 of per loaded mile excuse me can't talk today um on the 831 loaded so it started out as a pretty good paying load that dead head knocked a little bit of it down you know because like you know it's probably like a third a little bit less than a third of the miles you know probably 30 30 percent of those miles are dead head on it but overall not a bad load thanks for tuning in everybody take care of each other out there later